Hey, just an opinion here at the workbench. Just a uh, quick look at a new product that I purchased that has arrived. And this is a Blade Tech holster pack. Actually, it is, uh, what do they call it? They label it as a uh, shooter's combo pack. This is for the Glock 21. Let's take a quick look and uh, broke the little tab off. So much for my reusable or resealable packaging. But I do like that it opens easily and I don't have to use scissors or anything. So this is the mag pouch. And the one thing that I would... Um, the one thing I would have on my wish list differently is that the mag pouch also be a paddle design. And this is not a paddle design. This is a belt. You have to put your put your belt through this. Um, now, however, now let's take a quick look at this guy. This is the, this is a dummy barrel um, for your Glock. And the purpose for this is for, you know, dry practice. If you're doing dry firing practice and things like that, then if you replace your stock barrel with this barrel, then you are, uh, you know, you're safe. And so safety is always a good thing. And any steps you take to ensure that are good steps. And lastly, we have the holster. And now the holster is a paddle holster, and it also comes with the attachment to make it a belt, you know, belt holster that you would feed the belt through. So you can go either way with the holster. I will almost certainly use it exclusively as a paddle holster. I'm a big fan of the paddle holster design, mostly out of convenience and laziness. Um, I've never had any issues with it. You know, every once in a while, yeah, the paddle will ride a little bit when you draw, but that's more a function of uh, getting the holster adjusted right. So, seems to be a pretty well-made product. It is, uh, I don't think this is Kydex. I think it is just a uh, sort of a injection molded plastic. I find with a lot of uh, Kydex and molded plastic holsters that one of the first things you need to do, and this is just a tip for you, is to uh, take a silicone cloth or spray some silicone and, and wipe a cloth through the inside and get coat the inside of your holster with silicone. Um, and you need to do that um, repeatedly and intermittently based on, you know, whatever, you know, we feel the gun starting to grab a little bit. And then eventually that will penetrate and kind of keep that plastic lubed. But anyway, there you go. Just a quick look um, at the Blade Tech. I'm interested to use it. Um, not being, you know, this will be my first Blade Tech holster, so I'm interested to use it with the Glock 21. And I just happen to have, haha, -ha, right there, a Glock 21. And let's make sure we're clear. We are clear. In fact, just for the heck of it, let's go to this step. Let's take the good time and trouble to see how this guy works. All right, so there you got your yellow barrel, and you're able to able to dry fire. So that's pretty good. I like that. That's good. It's nice, nice to have. All right, so here's the holster. Let's just give it a real quick fit. See how it fits in there. It fits in, obviously nice. It's made for it, so it ought to. That's the expectation. Um, it's got a bit of a snug fit, but not overly tight. I think, you know, before I tried the, there's two adjustment screws right here. Before I uh, took the step to screw those down, what I would do is, um, what I will do is the advice I just gave. I'll put a little silicone, I'll rub a little silicone around the inside of that holster. And uh, run it through some cycles drawing before I make any uh, adjustments to it. So, and as far as cant goes, this is also adjustable for cant. You can um, you can have different tilts. It comes at a straight drop in, straight down configuration. Let me pull this back a little bit. Um, and that's where I'm going to probably want to leave it uh, because I'm going to want to use this for either shooting matches or similar type of shooting. So, um, straight drop is the fastest so that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it at. So okay, uh, there you go. First look at um, the Blade Tech. Uh, I know we've got some glare going on here. All right, so first look at the Blade Tech um, holster combo pack, shooters combo pack they call it, 
and this is for the Glock 21 and it again consists of a holster with both paddle and belt attachment and the magazine pouch, double magazine pouch, which unfortunately does not come with a paddle option. And it also includes the uh, the dummy barrel, the safety barrel, if you will, um, for dry practice. There you go. Hey folks, just an opinion here with you, with an opinion. And uh, what I'm looking at is uh, I want to take a just a, a quick practical look at a Blade Tech holster system. This specific one is for the Glock 21, which is in the holster, and there are two Glock 21 magazines in the magazine pouch. What this kit consists of, it's called the Shooter's Pack, I believe is what they call it. What do I think about this uh, rig? Well, the first thing I noticed when I when I put the holster on is that it does tend to uh, does tend to tilt out. Uh, the top tilts in toward your toward your body, and the bottom sort of flares out. Uh, so I thought that was a little odd. But uh, I did notice that once you put the weight of the handgun into it, it uh, it helps straighten it out a little bit. There is still a little bit of a of a tendency for it to want to uh, to want to bring the the top part of the gun up and, and hug your body, but after having done a considerable amount of dry practice with it and actually doing um, some, some live fire at a, a competitive shoot, uh, just a sort of a friendly competitive shoot match, used this holster rig and I didn't notice any problems at all. Um, I was able to draw very fast from it um, and there were no there were no problems with its, uh, with its positioning or, or any of that. So uh, the magazine pouch is a little snug. It is adjustable. There's an adjustment screw in the center that would adjust the tension. Uh, I have not adjusted it. Um, it is, again, as I said, a little snug. But I actually would prefer it to be a little tight rather than loose. And uh, when I, I find that when I'm actually shooting in a match, um, you know, you've got a little bit more, um, you got a little bit more energy. Um, you get a little bit more adrenaline pumping. And when you go for that magazine, um, being a little snug in the magazine carrier doesn't really doesn't really affect it at all. Um, and as, again, as far as the draw, I find it to be uh, quick, fast, easy. Um, it's a straight drop. You know, reholstering. I, I haven't used it enough yet where it's that intuitive, so I still have to sort of look it into the holster a little bit. But uh, it is certainly. Uh, it's certainly a fast holster, um, and uh, relatively inexpensive. This this rig that I per the way I purchased it, uh, which includes the double magazine pouch, the holster, paddle holster for the gun, uh, which also the gun the holster the paddle holster for the uh, handgun also does include an optional belt mount. So if you wanted to, you could remove the paddle and put on a, a traditional uh, belt mount system. So that's your choice. And it also includes this safety barrel for dry practice. Um, and I picked all that up for about $55. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, so far, I'm pleased with it. And uh, I thought I'd give you a look. Mm -hmm.